Imagine $500,000 for first place on Lake Gunnersville. Imagine, possibly, I don't know for sure, no tournament fees, and the payouts are going to be over $1.2 million. And no forward-facing sonar. Let's talk about the ultimate angler championship that's going to happen in 2025. So if you can do me a favor, if you like this kind of content, click that like and subscribe button and become part of the team and family. I have a goal and I really would appreciate your subscription. And let me just say thank you to all the new subscribers. It's been overwhelming the last few months. Now, I'm not really sure if there's going to be tournament fees or if there's not going to be tournament fees. When I did my research on this new Ultimate Angler World Championship, I couldn't find anything on their website talking about tournament fees. What I do know is that first place is going to take home $500,000 and they have over $1.3 million in payouts. The tournament's going to be held October 5th through the 11th in 2025, and they'll have two days of practice and then three days of tournament fishing. This is a new organization that's come together called Unified Pros, and it's the first and only tournament where pro anglers from all the major organizations are going to compete against each other to see who is the best. And that's the thing. This is something when Major League Fishing broke apart from bass or started with bass. We kind of all wanted to know who the best angler was. And this will be the first and only tournament that this will happen. And hopefully pro anglers are going to join. Now, no forward facing sonar makes the game a little bit different because we do know there's a lot of anglers out there that really are heavily involved in forward facing sonar. But with $500,000 on the line for first place, we should see a lot of forward facing sonar anglers and a lot of veteran anglers get out there and fish it. And that's where the fun is just going to start. And like I said, this will be the first tournament uh, and will be the only tournament champion that will have that will be crowned across all the multiple organizations. Now I know what you're saying. How do they do something like this? Well, all money, and I have to read it, all money has been underwritten by the state of Alabama, Jackson County, and the city of Scottsboro. It will be a five fish limit. And if they have over 5,000 people register, they're going to increase the payouts. And as a skeptical half glass full person, I start to 5,000 people is just unbelievable. So this tournament is open to qualifying college anglers, amateurs, and pros. And you have to go to theultimateangler.org and register, and they have a bunch of questions and other things so that you can become part of this tournament. And I do think you have to either fish some of the events, some of the major league fishing, or the BFLs, or the Opens, or the Invitationals, or the NPFL, or the TAA, or a whole bunch of Alabama Bass League. There's a bunch of things that you you have to qualify for it. You have to fish one of those organizations or one of those fishing tournaments to qualify for this tournament. But it's kind of exciting news because this is what we kind of all want. We all want to see a tournament where forward-facing sonar isn't dominant. That's what made the TAA so exciting for new anglers or exciting for the fans. There are so many people that say, oh, the new kids can't catch them without forward-facing sonar and the vets aren't doing it, aren't using forward-facing sonar like the these new kids. This just makes everyone level. Now, of course, if you're a Gunnersville angler or you're Gunnersville, you live around Gunnersville, you're obviously going to have a little bit better opportunity or chance to win. But Gunnersville is a great place to go fish, and this promotes Lake Gunnersville. That's what they want to do. They this tournament is supposed to help tell people or show people how great the fishing is on Gunnersville. And quite honestly, you have a lot of really amazing anglers that live on this lake. So this should be really fun to watch and see how it how it proceeds because five hundred thousand dollars to the winner is a hell of a lot of money but if you want more information go to that website and check it out and register and we'll try to cover it as it goes and see how it's doing or if there's new rules and all sorts of stuff but like i said i didn't see any tournament fees which is crazy to think about and first place being 500k is just ridiculous so let's see what happens now so my question to you is are you interested in this kind of 
fishing? Would you try to go out and fish one of those other leagues and organizations just so you could qualify here? And do you think the anglers who are very dominant with forward facing sonar are going to join? I don't think they cannot join, to be honest. And it could change someone's reputation and livelihood. So comment below and tell me what you think. Remember, take a kid fishing, get your fish on. I appreciate all of you and thank you for all the views and everything you guys do. Cheers.